Before we take a look at type on path, one thing I want to point out here, this really isn't talked about any place inside of any of the Photoshop instructions. It's just a little glitch that Photoshop has. If you're on the type tool here and you go up to the file menu, let me make sure I'm actually clicked into some type. There we go. So I'm clicked into some type just like that. Notice that, the, that most of the file menu is actually closed out or blocked out. Open Recent is all blocked out. So if you see this, if you're working with text and you see this and you think, oh no, I can't get to anything all of a sudden, all that's happening is that you're inside of a text layer and you have your, your text tools in the text layer. All you have to do is click on the Move tool and then everything comes back again. Just a little thing. This has been around with Photoshop for as long as I can remember that if you're on that text tool and you're in some text, you'll find that some things are grayed out out of the different menus. So let's go back to the Move tool. Okay, let's now open up that last document. I just named it a Shifting Reef just because of that type right there. And let's get this layers out of the way. I'm going to select a little bit of text off of this, just one line of text right there. Let's just copy that text. And come to a new type layer here. I'll just click into it, into it just like that and let's just paste that line of text in. There we go. So we have a line of text to play around with. Let me get this layers up here and let's get that out of the way. So here's a little bit of text. Now if we're working on text we actually can come in and place text onto a path which is kind of a fun tool. I'm going to make a new path here. Let's just grab the freeform pen tool and I'll grab a little little path like that click on my type tool so there's the path this is still copied in the clipboard and we have our path and notice the type tool as I move it over the path how it changes right there the type tool changes to the type on a path tool I can then click on the path that gives me an insertion point there and then edit paste and I've now pasted my text onto the path. I can then work with that text on the path actually manipulate that text on the path as you can see here Just making this just a little bit longer. And notice how the text is following the path, just like that. So we actually can place text right onto a path, and the text will follow that path around. Okay, let's just delete this one. Go up here, and actually let me go to Path Selection Tool. And I'll delete this path. doesn't want to go away so I'm just going to trash that layer there we go even easier let's now make a standard path here I'm just to do an ellipse like this I'll get rid of the style there we go just a plain style and I'll set this at white so you can see the path around that and again I'll come back here to my type tool Notice how the, the path actually comes in and I can click right there, right on that path. Let's paste that text in again. And there is that text pasted right into that path. I can select the text in the path as you can see there. Very easy. So you can work with our text, all of our text options. Here's a little little right mouse menu, text options, all that is available to us. We're working with our text on a path. If I switch over here to the path selection tool, I can then actually grab the ends of the path and pull the, the type around just like that. I also can pull the, the text inside or outside of the path. Let's flip it to one side or the other and pull it around to 
match the path just like that. So easy to work with our text. Actually place the text on the path. Now since the path I had set up with a color of white, it just disappears as I let go. I could change that of course. I could come in here and I could change the color for this if I wanted to. Or do anything else that you want with your type. Just click in this little color swatch right there. Let's give that a red coloration. So you can see that there's the path still. Only reason we're not seeing is because I have it selected as a white shape. But as you can see, easy to do to place text onto a path. So the way you do it is to have some text such as we have right here. Make sure that your text is on your clipboard. Easy way is just to edit copy just like that. Come in and create a path using any of our path tools. Doesn't matter what it is you're working with. Let's go over here and do the rectangle tool. I'll put a rectangle right there and then go back to the text tool and go right over the edge of the of the text like this. Click on the path, edit paste, and it puts that text right around that path just like that. Notice that the, the text actually moves with the path. If I move the path around, the text moves with the path. Let's just hide that layer out there. So there we go. Text on a path. Notice that the, the path actually now is on the text layer in here. Actually locked into that text layer. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it useful. If you like this video, click on the like button below to let others know. You can click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. I'm frequently uploading new training videos. Don't forget to check out my website at howtogurus.com. You can share this video with your friends and coworkers. Just click on share and then click on the social media buttons. Feel free to comment on my videos. I try to answer all comments as quickly as I can. And finally, you can get all of my training videos on DVD at howtogurus.com. Thanks again for watching.